Hi, my name is Steve Cox from Amphori Consulting and this short video is about 3D printing using soluble support structures. What we've seen recently is the emergence onto the FDM desktop 3D printer market of a number of high quality dual extrusion machines such as the Ultimaker 3 that sat alongside me. What those 3D printers allow us to do is to print ever more challenging geometries at higher levels of quality than we were ever able to do on a single extrusion machine. And in turn, what that's allowing us to do is to push the use of FDM 3D printers even deeper into industry and into the hands of professional makers. Now, up until recently, the number of uh, printer materials that you could print soluble support structures with has been fairly limited. PVA generally is the default material, polyvinyl alcohol. But just like in the rest of the materials market for 3D printing, there are new solutions emerging all the time. And verbatim have just launched to market a new material called BVOH, which is butanodiol vinyl alcohol, which they claim prints better than PVA and dissolves much faster than PVA at the end of the print. So this video is all about looking at that new material and how it compares with PVA. One of the interesting consequences of being able to print complicated geometries using soluble support material is that it's very easy to find that you end up with more support material in the print than the actual material itself. If we take this chair print as an example, there's almost three times the amount of support material in this print compared with the actual material. And what that means is that your selection, handling and storage of your support material is just as important as it is for your main material. And really what you're looking for with a support material is something that's easy to print with reliable extrusion properties and a quick dissolve time on completion. For both them say their new BVOH material prints at temperatures pretty similar to those of PVA and at print speeds of up to 30 millimeters per second. It's compatible with PLA, ABS and PET. It's obviously water soluble, but the effluent from that dissolve phase can actually be emptied into normal household drainage as long as the recommended minimum water to material dilution rate of 20 to 1 is met, which in reality is actually very easy to achieve. So let's take a look and see how BVOH performs. So this is that chair print dropped into water at 35 degrees centigrade. And after just a few seconds and a little mild agitation, you can see how much material is dissolving off that print. Huge clouds of it streaming away from the print. And very quickly, it's actually becoming obscured by the amount of material actually coming away from it. So that gives us a little bit of an early indication of how BVOH um, performs. These are the two chair prints after they've been complete and they cleaned up very nicely of all of that support material. But what we want to do is something maybe a little bit more objective and a little bit more back to back with PVA to see how the two compare. So to support that I came up with this fairly complex manifold design in Autodesk Fusion 360. That's on the screen are renderings of that design that show the complexity of it and the need for this design to be printed with support material both in BVOH and in PVA so that we can do a back-to-back -back comparison of the performance of both of them. You can now see the 3D printing process for that particular design using BVOH support material. Some of the smaller details there emerging and then the print going through to completion. Uh, there's a couple of minor stringing areas um, which may mean some fine tuning for some of the retraction settings may have been required. But overall, I got to a very, very satisfactory print with this, as indeed I did with uh, PVA. You can see the two particular prints compared here, um, and they do both look uh, very, very similar in terms of the quality of the print and of the support material. So let's compare how they perform at the dissolve stage. This is a tank of warm water that I prepared at around about 38 degrees centigrade and this was prepared ready to immerse both the PVA and the BVOH prints side by side. So we've got the BVOH on the right, the PVA on the left, the air bubbles escaping from the BVOH printer coming from the internal cavity of the 3D print. Um, but after only a matter of seconds, this is after around about a minute, you can already see that there's a large amount of the BVOH material uh, again dissolving into the water and the water started to take on a cloudy appearance 
so what you see here is as a result of the dissolve rate of the BVOH material rather than anything to do with the PVA print on the left hand side. So you can see the, the water going particularly cloudy. And after around about two and a half minutes, I took this print out of the water and found that probably 70% of that uh, BVOH support material peeled off the model really, really easily, leaving probably just around kind of 30% of the original support material left. And this is the piece that came off. If we go routing around the tank for the PVA model, you'll see that uh, that's far from the case and the PVA is a much more jelly-like uh, glue structure that's much more difficult to remove. After 30 minutes the BVOH print was almost completely clear, the PVA not so clear and after 40 minutes then the BVOH print was totally clear and the PVA print had barely changed in, the, in that 10 minutes. And reality was even after two and a quarter hours when I took this print out, the PVA was still present in a number of areas on this print. And the reality was it took some, somewhere around four hours for that to disappear completely. So in terms of PLA, that seems pretty conclusive. I did go on and test with both PET and ABS materials and both appeared to be completely compatible with BVOH as the support material, as you can see from the prints here. And once again, you can see on the left hand side that the vast majority, if not all of the support material on these prints came away as a single piece after just two minutes immersion in warm water. So that seems to be fairly conclusive in terms of compatibility between BVOH, PLA, ABS and PET. So what are the overall findings from this video? Well, I think BVOH is an excellent direct replacement for PVA for 3D printed soluble support structures. It's a material that seems to print much more like a regular 3D printed material than PVA, especially in my experience where you're producing tall, slender support structures that sometimes break off mid print with PVA due to the brittle nature of that particular material. The dissolve rate is at least three times faster than PVA, as hopefully you've seen in this video. And your cleanup can actually be much quicker than that if you're willing to intervene by hand. And finally, BVOH works with a wide variety of materials, certainly the three that we tried in this video, and probably materials beyond that. So, what are my final thoughts on what we've seen in this video? Well, I think whilst PVA is perfectly okay for soluble support structures, I think BVOH has definitely got a significant performance edge. It prints better than PVA and it dissolves way, way quicker than PVA. And in this day and age, we're trying to push 3D printing further and further into industry and into the hands of professional makers. And faster and faster workflows are something that they are really looking for. And that particular aspect could be very significant. So if you use soluble support structures in your 3D printing, then why not try BVOH and see what it can do for you. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching.